G'day, welcome to part three of my string challenge as we slowly work our way around potentially every city on the map. Uh, in this one. So we've got another city in here. Uh, that's the longer flight at the moment, so we'll make them that way. Now hopefully we see a few more cities show up in the middle here between, I guess, the north and, and the south. What would we have, like... Uh, Charlotte, uh, Memphis, Baltimore. Baltimore could be right on top of DC. Oh, it's north of DC, isn't it? Yes, Maryland's north of DC. Certainly, some long trips we've still got going on there. And Denver being all on its own in the middle. If we can get like Salt Lake City or something, uh, that would help. So what we'll do is we'll just let time speed along a bit more. I'll keep working on just trying to fix this end of the line. Wealthy end. Let's keep up in our um, flights to jets. Now we can see that this guy is hitting... We can see occasionally you'll get one orange, and that's just basically the brief moment between when a plane picks up what it's got and then drops it off at the next one. So that's definitely completely fine. It's an otter that we just gained. There we go. San Diego. Um, so that's uh, 360, that's 340, so that's a shorter trip, so we'll leave it as is. This is basically just going to stay 100% on that, so I suppose our total income is going a bit slower than, than it otherwise would, as long as we've got that as a problem. But I suppose that's what we're doing along here-ish, in a way. I don't want to start spending too much money uh, on this end of the routes just because we've got um, uh, because we're going to have to do so much rebuilding that it's probably not worth the effort at this point. I mean, Canada, I'd say we can probably assume that we're not getting any more Canadian cities, but we probably will want to wait to see how many cities we get in the northeast because you can see that they could probably be a tangle of each other. But especially at the moment, they're closer to the Canadian cities than they are to these, like, Southern American ones. And it sort of puts us in a good spot. I mean, ideally, if we had a few more here, I would consider going down through the Bahamas, uh, Haiti, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, Cuba, and then coming back. Possibly back through that way or back this way and then around... Uh, we'll see. Okay, so there's another central one in Kansas City. Um, so it's too close to cities of Chicago and Minneapolis. That would leave out Milwaukee. So um, we'll just go this way for now. Now, I wonder if that's something that actually should be in consideration about when picking the end of the line. Um, I think that the end of the line over this way is definitely the best choice because of how long these flights are going to be. That BG Vanuatu, New Caledonia, these are all going to be uh, pretty long flights. So we are going to want to have them the very end of the line and it means that they, they probably won't get too congested because it's just going to be their own sort of local travel uh, that's doing that okay so now what we'll do is let's get rid of that line connect that sell that that actually let's get rid of that too and we'll go that way Okay, and you can see that once we get to the point where we don't have the big planes, there's plenty of red. And these are only like 100 person um, airports that we've got there, I think. Oh no, those ones are also only 100. But even though this is a very small part of the, the line, like there's very short flights, as long as we can get that sort of running efficiently, it we don't have to look at it again. 
but that would be potentially multiple planes on these routes. Uh, this is probably still early days because stuff. This is the end of the line. Stuff's not having to transfer through the United Kingdom at the moment. But it does um, it does make me wonder if what I should do is open up France to allow France to expand on this side too. What we will at least do is we'll open up Luxembourg. We'll just let because I can't. I don't, would be shocked if we got two cities in Luxembourg, so we'll let that just connect to Brussels. Essentially give us another country involved in this. What have we got there? That'll be Salt Lake. And now we'll go San Diego to Phoenix, Phoenix to Vegas, Vegas to Salt Lake, Salt Lake to Denver. That'll be Charlotte. Two fifteen, two hundred three. So it would be two hundred, two hundred three, and two twenty three there, but only one thirty eight there and two eighty four. We've got West Palm Beach down here too. Okay, so let's go. make those connections. We'll sell that. Uh, we'll then let's get Atlanta to go via Charlotte for now and we'll sell that one. When I um, went to uh, the road trip that I was talking about last time, uh, like I said, we were in Disney World and then I flew to Charlotte. Um, I flew first class when we did that because First class in America is a lot cheaper than it is in Australia. Particularly if you're flying with bags, we sort of found that if um, if you have to, because you, you generally have to pay for checked luggage a lot more in the United States than you would in, in say, Australia. Australia, you just get it for free. <clears throat> but wow, that's going to be painful. West Palm Beach being busy, all the traffic trying to move to this one spot. Um, but generally you have to pay for it. And so there's excess per bag. Whereas if you're first class, you don't have to pay for that. So it almost ends up being the same cost to fly first class as it is to fly coach with two bags. So absolutely, we um, I flew first class, but it did mean that first class was me and I think six guys in suits and I was wearing a, a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Um, what was funny is the flight went from Orlando to Newark via Charlotte. And so when I got off the plane in Charlotte, I went down to the baggage claim section and I looked around and there was no one else down there. Now, be it this was first thing in the morning, probably the plane arrived at like 7.30 in the morning, 8 a.m. No other planes landed. No other people were down there. And I thought, am I going to the right spot? Is this where, is this where I'm meant to collect my baggage? And one old couple wandered down too. And I was like, all right, well, maybe they, they were from my flight. That's all right. So the baggage conveyor belt started and a, one of my bags came off, uh, this old couple's bag came off, my other bag came off and it just stopped. Like that was it. There were three bags coming off the plane. I was like, oh, okay, that's why there's no one else down here. I did say I was with my friend on that. So if you're fact checking to wonder why he wasn't there, it's because he flew into somewhere in the north central north and he came down via Nashville and then picked me up at the airport in Charlotte which was also easy since no one else was there so it was just I'm the one guy standing there waiting to uh, be picked up at the airport but that was it straight out of Charlotte after that so I've not seen anything else down at the home of the Hornets Buffalo Fun fact, a lot of you may know this, I find it a really funny thing, that there are three, there are, in the NFL, there are two New York teams, the Jets and the Giants, and then Buffalo is also in New York, but that means that Buffalo is actually the only New York city, uh, New York team to have a stadium in New York, since the two New York teams have theirs in, um, in New Jersey, which means if you'll go on the trivia question, what's the only team in the NFL to have a stadium in New York, the answer is Buffalo, not New York. It's, I think, fun little fact. 
the other one I really enjoy is the Cleveland Browns and Cincinnati. The Browns are named after Paul Brown. But Cincinnati Bengals were founded by Paul Brown. And so the Bengals play in Paul Brown Stadium. So there was a time in the year where a, name, a team founded by Paul Brown plays against a team named after Paul Brown playing in Paul Brown Stadium. Which seems like one of the craziest things in sport. Like I can't imagine happens in many other sports anywhere else in the world. That's about the extent of my... Uh, my NFL not, uh, fun facts as well, don't worry. They won't be coming back. But we may be in the US a while here. We are now over in Ireland here. So um, I have been to Ireland too. Didn't much like Cork from memory, but I was a young teenager at the time. I don't remember why I didn't like Cork. Um... I walked up Mount Clear, Clear Patrick. Is that what it's supposed to be called? Somewhere in Ireland? That's probably the strongest memory I have. Not the name of it. That's not my strongest memory of it. Walking up that mountain is probably the thing I remember most. But yeah, it was a, was a long time ago. Alright, we've got Jacksonville as well. So, and Richmond. So, with Richmond coming in, it is slowly connecting... Um, this side of the map so we can look at how can we how can we redesign this can we have it so that we come through we redesign part of this so that we almost bounce through all of these cities then come south through these Because I mean, potentially what we could do is if we got New Orleans here, we could go through these cities. So use Jacksonville, Orlando, Palm Beach. Go through the Bahamas down here and then come back up via Miami and Tampa and then go out to uh, the New Orleans. With the aim of the game being just having short flights. Not long flights. Not, not 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 long flights. Short flights. Not um. Guess as the crow flies, direct flights. Um, I've never been to El Paso, but I guess my little fun fact I can throw out for that one. In America, you've got the the Rocky Mountains that are here. Then they fall down into a pass, and then you've got the the Mexican Mountains here. Apologies, I can't recall what they they're named. It's probably Sierra or something. And in between those two, obviously there's a pass that runs down between those two Mexican, uh, the, the two sets of mountains. And that pass is a town named El Paso. And that's why that is. Would I go Del Rio is the closest I think I've been to there. Del Rio would be it's either here or there. I can't recall which part of the Texan border it's on. All right, cool. That shortens up that flight a little bit. And this is part of the reason why I don't feel like we can move on from America just yet because we're getting a lot of American cities. And the more that we can get <clears throat> from this point, it should be the shorter that the routes become. Because with the size of American cities, I would be amazed if they give us anything in this area up here. Uh, what would be our biggest city up here? Um, got Idaho City, Billings, Montana, Rapid City, South Dakota. I can't think of anything in Nebraska. We've got Portland, Sacramento, Salt Lake. Let's get rid of that one. All right, spend some of this money to... What I'll do is I'll keep working on upgrading these planes through England and Iceland. Because hopefully once we get these planes going, we'll be making more money because there will just be people moving through. I didn't read there to see where we got our supersonic jet. Oh, there it is, between Brussels and Luxembourg. Which we now have three planes on that route for some reason. 
There's two supersonic jets on that route. They are really going hard on that. For I assume I won't ever delete that route. We'll assume, we'll see. I mean, you can see we, we are still hitting red in here, but in part that's just because there's a really small, um, really small airport still. So we'll have to upgrade those. Let's get this guy upgraded before we move on. Like another city came in. Oh, we've got two more cities. And we are cutting down the gaps in here even better. So, the Rayleigh, is that how that's pronounced? Rayleigh, North Carolina? Guess what we'll do then is we'll just make that our connection to Nashville. We'll get rid of that little flight. We certainly will try and rework this. There's Memphis. Yeah, these two here are the ones that I really don't have a like a good plan for how we'd reduce the length of their flights. Like where is Denver connecting to as its second route? Kansas City? 340. 320. So I mean that it really is actually closer anyway. It is actually connected to its two closest cities. Um I mean I, I doubt they're gonna give us Colorado Springs. Oh, Albuquerque, okay. 204, so I mean that's slightly closer, so we'll give that to Denver for now. Let's go back and finish off our planes. Once I have jets flying all the way to the end of Iceland, so we'll go to here, I'll open up my next country. Maybe we'll actually it'll just be the islands anyway, so I don't think there's too much fanfare. It's not like if France or Mexico are going to be the next two really major ones where we get a lot of cities. But if I just start opening up these, we'll just sort of get the one city that, that'll be attached to them. What was that? Rochester. Surprising as Wick is currently the the end of the line for England. Oh no, I've got the expensive planes at the moment. Isn't really worth updating it that during that. Okay, so let's make sure that we've got at least four hundreds for our cities. I don't like that this is gonna sort of throw me every time I click on a city. Oh good, there we go. Maybe it's only if I click on a city where I'm already selected on a city. Basically what we want to see is just that England stops being uh, red in any capacity. All of our jets are doing the work that, that at least this little part of the map is, is fine. We had another city come in somewhere over here. Here we are, Birmingham. Alabama. Cool. Fresno. So I believe that... I guess that that would... I think that I'm now just bringing in second level planes every time I build an airport now. So hopefully that's the end of my first level planes that, that has gotten rid of.
Yeah, it would be good to open all these up just to see what our plan of attack is and if we can work down and through them back up. It really does... We are hanging out for New Orleans. I think that's going to be one of the key cities in this. Uh, what do we got? Jacksonville. Is there anything anything in here? Uh, what's the Alabama city? Alabama city that's down the bottom. His name escapes me at the moment. What did we just get? Oh, there we go. Prince Rupert. You're really out of the way. Let's go Prince George to Prince Rupert to Campbell River. We'll just connect those two and we'll get rid of... That one. And that one. Okay. So Birmingham, I think, was... Not Birmingham's the 400. That's... That's down, so we can go up on that one. On that one. Now, the thing is that these... Even with these, like, $400 airports that I'm buying, their population hold is still less than what these jets can transport. These jets can transport 600 people. And, uh... The airports can only hold 500. But you can see that we are a beautiful shade of green at the moment. We're in England. At least something's working in our line. And at least we're getting some money quickly here. And this is even still missing out on 30% of everything we gain. The new city announcements are so quick that... Because there's so many problems going on behind him that uh, we can't really see what when I get a new city. Okay, so that is now every single city in the United Kingdom and Ireland has a level four airport. At least. Now that guy there is still struggling anyway, because he's obviously the end of the express the express routes of this. We do have to just um start to upgrade his planes. Let's have a look. We're still getting some more Canadian cities now, so maybe that's suggesting that we're close to the end of gaining um US cities. It has shifted back some places that are really out of the way. Where are we going to here? Thompson. Alright, so let's get a few of these little islands in there. Yeah, with a few of these guys, there's no real easy way to make that connection. Medicine hat. Swift current. Certainly a lot of Canada, I don't know. A country I've only visited very briefly. I've uh, once had a holiday in uh, Pennsylvania where for a couple of uh, overnight we drove up to Niagara Falls and so we were on the Canadian side of Niagara Falls for one night and then I spent two days two days three nights maybe it was three nights in Vancouver that's basically the extent of my uh, my Canadian holidaying so certainly if there's anywhere in Canada you recommend Banff I hear is uh is really nice then let me know Sudbury. I'm disappointed that Sudbury is not a English city. It sounds like a made-up English city, Sudbury. I guess we want to try and upgrade all these planes pretty quick 
together because we don't want them to sort of offset in how far apart they are. See these two guys have now sort of caught up on each other. Let him go for a little bit. Are we paying more for planes at the moment, are we? It's a pain. Guess we'll just let those two run free for a little while. Cuba in here. Jamaica. Let's make sure we've got a way around Tucson. It's a nice little assisting connection there. So again, this sort of helps uh, if we want to go down through here and then back out. Depends on where if we get a city in Mexico here. Is that um? Ah, uh, that party city. Cancun. Is Cancun somewhere in the vicinity of here? What a prince. I'm not getting two cities in Haiti, getting spoiled. See, there's a really nice sort of crisscross that we can go here that we can run down. Down, down. Puerto Rico, and then back. So we'll have a look. But again, it really depends on getting New Orleans. Send one. Okay. I did not read that. Did all flights get cancelled somewhere? Yes. You know what? The whole thing's a disaster anyway. Let's just leave it. We just cope. Five minutes of planes not going anywhere. Yeah, this is the front guy here. We'll wait till they get sort of past him the distance we want. And we'll speed him up as well. There's one, and we'll say. There. Oh, nice. Yeah, certainly if we can get as many cities as possible on the islands would be ideal. So what we'll do is we'll just try rebuilding this. So we're going to connect Orlando to West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach to here. There. That's probably where we've got too big a gap. Let's go across, across, and there. So then we can get rid of that and that. At this point, we would go sell that. Make, I think we can make that connection, sell that one. And then this guy bounces to Santa Clara. So we get rid of that. He goes to there. Get rid of that. He goes to Miami. Get rid of that. 
that. Goes to Tampa. Get rid of that. Oh, I mean, that makes one of the longer trips in this section a little bit shorter. Uh, and then Tampa is currently the end of the line. Now, that is a problem because there's nothing near Tampa for it to then go to. Its next logical jump would be that it has to go to Houston or Atlanta. Or what we can do is if we do get Cancun or something here, we can just have Havana bounce on this way. But it would then mean that we'd have to figure out how to do Mexico, but it would possibly be that this just dips into Mexico back out. And then Southern Mexico is just connected via this before it works down into Central America. Look at how red everything here is. But again, we've got somewhere blocked. Yeah, they're just sitting on their hands while they wait for these blockages to stop. Okay, so let's start speeding up the uh, front runner jets. So we'll go 16,000 for him, 16,000 for him, 16,000 for him. And then this is the front guy behind those three, so we'll just count the three go past him. It's one, two, three. Although we don't even have money to upgrade this guy all the way, which would be what we want to do next. Tico Bay. Oh, we've got someone else in here too. <laughs> the whole map's gone red. Waiting for this guy to be opened. Okay, let's get back to focusing on this. There's the front one, I think. No, here's the back one. So we'll focus on this guy, wait for him to go past. Make sure he's got the lead we want. Watch this guy. He's just got to sit right in the gap here of... Sort of there. That guy's not all the way upgraded either. The tricky thing is I don't really know when North America will be done when we sort of have all the cities of this. Surely New Orleans is going to be part of this. Even more island cities. They're really getting a nice representation for uh, Cuba in this one. the route for the length of that one. I almost want to upgrade the uh, these ones because this again feels like something that we can just assume is going to be a lock. There can't be too many more cities showing up anywhere down there. But possibly what has to happen is this has to max out with the amount of cities that the, um, the islands are going to give me before it'll go back to the US. And it will be a shame if I do start to open countries any quicker than this because I'm enjoying getting the full suite of all the cities and the countries. And it's good to see we are starting to get a bit more money moving here. And it is nice to see that England is sort of operating without too much complaint now. And so let's just 
give the same treatment to Iceland. Give them the uh We got two two planes on that route. We just sell that one for now. The idea of putting more planes on these um these tiny routes does seem funny. Like at what point does um how do five planes operate on something that that quick? Flats to Swift. That um Canada. Yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong for anyone, uh, out of, this is more a curiosity thing, because this is a thing that I've heard. Are there trees in Iceland? Is there many trees in Iceland, or for some reason is there just not many trees in Iceland? And if, is, is that, as far as, my understanding is that there's a tree line that, there's, there's a tree line obviously that's talking about height, that if you go up mountains you reach the tree line, typically on a mountain where it'll stop having trees go beyond it. But the tree line also exists going north on the globe. There, there's a certain point where you don't see trees any further north on the planet. And Iceland is north of that line. Is that true? Because I've heard it. And it's one thing I've always been curious about. I've had friends go to Iceland and I say, did you see any trees? Sure, it's something I can probably just look up to find out the answer to, but... You know, sometimes it's interesting to learn by asking or looking at the place, not at not at the internet. Although I realize right now I'm asking the internet, but hey, this is a conversation, right? Inverness. All right. All we'll do is we'll get these last two. Icelandic planes, the two internal Icelandic planes upgraded, and then we'll call it a, a session. It's obviously dragging on a little bit longer because we had all of our internal traffic in America roadblocked. Now they should be on the move again. We should upgrade all the cities at least once more so that the, they can hold more people than the planes can deliver. And we don't want to just keep spending money on England. We would like to venture further into the world. We've got a few countries there, though. This would be a nice leisurely expansion, this one. There we go. Iceland is now riding off the fastest planes too. The next time we can do the same for, for Greenland. Uh, and then I think we're probably going to be able to say that Canada and America are close to having all their cities, certainly to the point that we can start upgrading everything because we've got a few more cities down here. Uh, because we've got so many... Um, Got so many cities already that I would imagine that for the most part we're we're gonna be all right. So sell that. I think that's my route. Is that right? Because that guy connects to Santa Clara. No, oh, here's Santa Clara. Yeah, he connects down here. Go from him to there. Him to there. Cool. All right, there we go. A little bit more expansion. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below, but until next time, I'll catch you later. See ya.